Hi guys, it's Ray. We are starting a new cup today. Um, I'm not a particularly huge fan of this style of tumbler, but these are becoming huge right now. These puff 3Ds. Um, but I thought this image was pretty cute, so I got this image from Creative Fabrica. Um, there's tons of them on there. Um, but I thought just something simple and basic would be cute. And I had these strawberries that I've been wanting to do on a tumbler or a topper. So we're going to go ahead and use a couple of these. I don't think I'm going to put any actually on the tumbler. Um, but I might. But I'm definitely going to do a topper with those. The small ice cubes I got from Timu. These came from Timu. And I don't have any little white strawberry flowers, but I do have these little pink daisy type flowers, so I'm going to use a couple of those as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this applied to a tumbler. This is just a white tumbler. Uh, this was a sublimation tumbler. I can still see some of the bottom text. So I do think I'm going to go ahead and grab quick some ink. And I like to cut a section off to use as an anchor point, as you know. And this is like vinyl sticker paper. Um, it's not a heavy duty vinyl like you would buy commercially. This is from Timu, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I really don't love that. Pink. Let me put a very light pink, um, glitter in though, so... Maybe we'll add a little extra glitter around the bottom when we get to that point. I think that's pretty well lined up, so. Actually, I really, really dislike that. So what we're going to do is swerve. Put these aside a minute because we don't need them just yet. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge, a small paintbrush, and some pink. I think we'll go with the Ballerina from Glitter and Pixie Dust. Because that is pretty fine, so it'll cover fairly easily. relatively small brush and I may get a little bit over the um, image because this is a very fine line to run I was gonna just paint the tumbler pink but I didn't have a pink spray paint currently I'm out of this kind of pink so, and you cannot tape off on home printed vinyl. It will take the color right off the vinyl. 
as soon as you get it sticky. So that is why we have to do it this way. So much happier with that. Get the bottom done quick. I'm not going to worry about sealing this because I actually think that I'm going to mix in just a tiny bit into my epoxy anyways. Just for a little sparkle on this one. So I'll be back when this is dry and we're ready to move on. Okay, so I am ready to get a coat of epoxy on this. Like I said, I am going to sprinkle just to cover the top the glitter into my cup. And this is going to get a super duper thin coat for the first coat. Um, and then I'm going to move over and do the lid. And then once they're dry, we will come back and have a peek. Um, you won't see the final coat because I'm going to line up all my turners tonight and put a regular slow epoxy on for final coats all the way down the line so this is going to be the only coat you see but this is like the critical coat because it's going to show how this vinyl behaves and all of that this is basically just a seal coat Let me know what you think of these puff-type tumblers, if you're a fan or not. I'm just curious who likes them, who doesn't. I will put the link to, like I said, this designer's work, this image down below. If you go to that designer, it'll show you their whole range. But um, I just wanted to make sure I did do at least one, just because people who don't necessarily follow the trends might not realize that this is a trend now this style so because i don't always keep up with all the trends myself Okay, I have the slide popped off my lid. I have the little silicone straw bits tucked in there, and I'm going to build my lid. I'm going to start by just pouring in some epoxy, and I'm going to start filling in with my ice cubes. I'm not going to make a huge, big, 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 chunky, chunky lid. Just, you know, small and cute. I did pour some in this dish, but I still have some in the bag that won't fit in there, so I'm going to work from the bag. These ones I did get from Timu. They are all one size. I have some somewhere from like Hobby Lobby, and then I think I might have some from Amazon. Some of them are larger, some of them are smaller size like this mixed. Just kind of depends on where you get them from, but what you're looking for is fake ice cubes or acrylic vase filler depending on how they're being marketed. Uh, the smart companies have figured out that we're using these four tumblers and are marketing them as such. So I don't want to get too close because remember on the last one I had an issue with it blocking the straw a little bit around one of them. So, I think I can fit one more smallie in there. So, pour some more epoxy over. I'm going to try and keep a little bit in my cup. 
I'm sorry if it got loud. Somebody is watching videos in the next room. I'm going to put a little bit of a layer of ice cubes in. Sometimes I can't tell looking down on it what I need. So I have to kind of get down here at its level. One more right here. Okay. So I'm only going to use a couple of the strawberries, maybe three. And I do think I want to put some epoxy on the back side of them. Yep, this is going well. I should have grabbed out a pair of tweezers, honestly. And I think I want to coat over the top just so when they get washed, if that's paint, it'll kind of hold. just in case. So I'm actually going to pick that one right up with the brush. And these little micro q-tips are also from Timu and they are coming in handy for so many things. So I will try to remember to put these links all down below. I am. Um, these little silver things in the middle here I'm never going to use. So if they escape, so be it. But I do want to put a couple of these little flowers on. There we go. That is our cute little lid. We will just let that dry. We'll let that coat of epoxy on the tumbler dry. And then we will come look at them side by side. Okay, so obviously this is not complete, complete with one coat of epoxy, but um, it is good enough for video. So this is a puff 3D print. Um, cute it's not my not my cup of tea but I do think this came out really cute um, I have a little bubble inside the lid to pop off if it leaks through that air hole um, usually it'll just pop right off like it just did so and I'll pull these out and check to make sure I'm good and I do have one tiny little bit of epoxy dripped through in there. So before it gets super hard, I like to just grab a blade and sneak it right out of there. All right, so that is my lid with my three little strawberries and my little flowers. Isn't that cute? I think it just makes the tumbler. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this back on a turner and get another coat on it. But I just wanted to show it to you so I could finish this up because I'm trying to get videos done because I am headed off on vacation. So that is going to be it for this one. I uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.